<clears throat> hey guys, um, just thought I'd take you guys through a quick walkthrough on uh, signing and securing your APK file on uh, on a Windows system. Um, basically, um, so I basically created an HTML5 game uh, using the ImpactJS uh, game framework, which you can see at impactjs.com. Uh, I guess maybe I'll just bring up the website here really quickly so you can see it. It's actually right here. So this is ImpactJS. Uh, it's a very uh, it's a very robust uh, HTML5 game framework. Uh, I think it's probably the best one on the market. Um, so that's something you guys can check out. And uh, it's actually really cool because it allows you to export your games for um, for the for the App Store and also for uh, for for the Android Store. Um, but there's a couple of loops you're going to have to jump through. Uh, before you can actually publish them on uh, the App Store and and uh, and and the Google Play Store. Uh, okay, so uh, so the service that I used to create my APK file for my HTML5 game is uh, called Lude, and uh, they actually have a service called CocoonJS. So here's the Lude website. It's Lude.com, and uh, they have a service called CocoonJS, which allows you to upload your HTML5 game. And basically, what the system does is it spits out an APK file which is uh, unsecured and unsigned and it also spits out an Xcode project so you can export your game for the Apple App Store. Um, so again like I said uh, what they what they do is is uh, they'll spit out an APK file for you but uh, it's unsigned and unsecured um, so you're gonna have to sign and secure it yourself and uh, I didn't know how to do this so I, uh, I emailed the, uh, the, cu the customer support at Lude, and they were nice enough to provide me with a link to get me started. Uh, but that was only half the battle. I had to uh, I had to fi find out, figure out how to zip align the file as well at the end. Um, so uh, you know, so after about half a day of you know uh, looking shit up on the web, uh, I, I finally figured it out. And it's pretty it's pretty much a three step process. So you're gonna see here I have three folders, and uh, there's also Java which you're gonna need. So make sure you download and install Java before uh, doing any of this. Uh, but basically, it's a three-step process. The first step is OpenSSL, which you can download off, uh, which you can download for free off the web. And basically, with OpenSSL, it's basically a, a command line prompt, right? So I just click the executable, and you're going to get the OpenSSL command line. And what you can do in here is uh, you can actually uh, create a security key for your uh, for your APK file. And what it does is it uh, it actually it actually creates two files: this uh, certificate.pem, which you can see here, and key.pk8. I'm not going to take you through all the steps because there's quite a bit, uh, but I will write them below the video so you guys can see it and copy and you know copy and paste it and uh, or just see it as a reference. Um, yeah, so basically it creates these two files here, which you're going to need for step two. So for step one, just a quick recap: a, a quick recap, you're going to need certificate.pem and key.pk8 in order to continue. So uh, I'm going to go to step two, which is signing and securing your APK. And this is going to be done using Java. So uh, again, you can download this uh, zip file here off the web. Just type in sign APK. Um, so you can download this. And what you need to do is you need to copy your certificate.pem and your key.pk8 file into this folder. And uh, it's actually going to overwrite the, the ones that come with the application, that come with Sign APK. So you can just go ahead and overwrite them. So basically, I'll just go back to step one. I'll copy these two files here. Then you go back to step two. And you can paste them in here. Hit copy and replace. And you're also going to need your unsigned APK file, right? Just copy it into this folder. And you're also going to need this sign apk.jar file. That's really uh, that's really important. You need that file there. So basically, what you do after is you open up your command line and you go and you're going to have to target the the directory where you have your sign apk unzipped. And then you're going to type in the following. It's going to be Java dash jar sign apk dot jar. So we're targeting that file sign apk dot jar. And then we're also going to need certificate. Dot pem and we're going to need um, key dot pk8 and then we're going to need to target our uh, our unsigned apk file so unreleased sorry release unsigned dot apk 
and then we're going to have to specify our output file, our new file that uh, Java is going to create, our new signed and secured file. So this is going to be uh, wangfu release signed that apk so if i hit enter now you're going to see java is going to create a new file for me so i'm going to close this and there we have it wang fu release signed so now my file has been signed and secured with a secure with a security key so now i'm going to take this file i'm going to go to step three which is going to be my zip align step i'm going to have to zip align this file now All right you can download you can download this tool off the web that i found just uh, go to google type in zip align and basically what you got to do is you're going to copy the file into here, into this folder. And then what you're going to do is you're going to double click zipaline.exe. You're going to select the, AP, the APK file that you want to, uh, to zip align. So right there, you're going to hit open. It's going to ask you open output folder with .bat file. Hit no. Close this. Hit zipaline.bat. And you'll see here, oh, it was already created in this case, but let me delete this. I'm going to run that again, and you're going to see here that uh, it actually zip aligns your uh, <clears throat> your APK file, right? And it says it's completed. Hit continue, and then if I go back to zip align apps, you're going to see it's in there, right? So now my uh, so now my APK file has been signed and secured, and it's been zip aligned, and now it's ready to be submitted to the Google, to the Google Play Store. Um, so uh, look below the video. Um, I have step one, step two, and step three outlined there, and also the links where you can download the uh, the appropriate software uh, in order to make this all work. So uh, if you have any questions, just leave me uh, you know just leave a leave a comment below, and uh, I'll be sure to answer it as, to answer it as soon as I can. And that's it. Thanks for watching.